we are going to be looking at a generator here um, in a, a retired AT&T truck uh, stock number 1447 truck only has 82,000 miles on it wonder how many miles the generators got in it a lot of times these things don't have many hours it doesn't really matter all that much or 10,000 hour units and Usually AT&T takes real good care of it. This is an all original unit. It's water cooled exhaust Ford four cylinder uh, We do have a PDF of the uh, maintenance manual or the uh, owner's manual for it And let's fire it up. Here we go so We go around this side. It's got a remote start. It's also got a starting unit on or starting button on the actual unit. This one has 2700 hours. That's it. This is a cold, cold start. Wow, that thing comes to life. Okay. Um, now these are just like uh, car, alt they do have car alternators, Ford four cylinder, and it's charging nicely. 13 and a half volts. So you got 240 volts. Uh, of course, no amps. We aren't pulling yet. Uh, a little bit over six yeah there it goes settling down at about 60. turn the breaker on we're going to turn the blower on the blower is a manhole air blower it takes a little bit of power it's a big yellow hose that goes inside the uh the manhole these are locked so i can't show you but anyway it's it it blows the air so the guys can breathe down their fresh air okay here we go blower there it goes low and then high speed now it's blowing air. I can hear it in, in drawing air. Then we're going to turn, it's got two 3,000 watt heat boosts. That heats the air that goes into the manhole. So if it's cold down there, which it usually is like a cave, uh, it heats it. Here we go. 3,000. Another 3,000. Now we're going to really make it work. The air compressors, it's got two air compressors and then an air dryer. Let's fire up the air compressors. Another air compressor. And then the air dryer. You can hear the air starting to work. You can see, look how fast that comes up. The uh, it's coming up to 20 psi already. It hit zero in it. So it's just sitting there humming right now. We're pu pulling over 50 amps. Let's go listen to it run. Fourteen forty-seven is the stock number. Good running machine. The way these are designed is the, the fan blows this way. And the exhaust comes out here. It's liquid cooled, so it's not that hot. So it comes out this way and blows that way out the drained area. Let's shut that just for a moment. That's how it works. That's what it looks like. But we are going to remove it from this truck. Or you could buy the whole truck for about 7000 with all the stuff in it. Anyway, this panel, if you want the panel, it's another 150 on top of the generator. But it's kind of neat. You can, uh, well, you can see it on the side there. You can barely see where my finger is. There's another starter button. There's more outlets on the side of this control box. So it's kind of nice to have the breakers and so forth and then the control. All right, let's shut things down. The compressors are already up to 120 PSI. They've shut off. Well, no, that one didn't. That one did. Okay, so the compressors are off. Heat boost one, heat boost two is off. Blower, low speed, off. Breaker, no juice now. Now it's freewheeling. Doesn't that thing sound good? Smooth, steady. It's a low speed, 1800 RPM. Now let's shut it off. And that was a cold, cold start, so that it's not really even warm yet. But here we go, we're gonna shut it off. And then now I'm gonna fire it up again for you. Here we go. It's a real good running unit. Okay, thanks for looking.